Well, it, well, yes, that too. But it's just it's just the way the shield logs. I always really appreciated. <laughs> oh, cool! I get to look at this like an inconsistency. The guy with the sword is holding us at point, and then all of a sudden, two spearmen are holding us at point. <laughs> yeah, at gunpoint. There was a sketch a buddy of mine made in high school where uh, he's eating, bre well, his friend's eating breakfast, and another friend walks in, and he just goes, well, how was your day? She goes, oh, it was good, you know, did some groceries, fixed, did the lawn, you know, at gunpoint. And he's like, I'm sorry? Yeah, so anyway, I got diagnosed with uh, unimportant itis. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear it. Yeah, it was at gunpoint. Yeah. Then, I, then I saw Michael Jackson. Wait, didn't he die? Yeah, at gunpoint. Oh. <laughs> and then I came here, I made some cereal, I started talking to you. At gunpoint, he goes, wait, what? They turns and there's a guy standing there with a gun and shoots him in the head. Oh. oh, so Kevin, I don't think I mentioned this, but, uh, so Final Fantasy XIV is going down for emergency maintenance at, like, 1 a.m., and I think I know why. Why? Oh, no. So apparently there was a thing someone posted on the subreddit where some people were doing the, like, the last of the near raids, like the near Automata raids, mm -hmm. and, uh, Specifically, this person joined in, like, into the raid in progress and found a bunch of people sitting around having been there for, like, a total of a hundred minutes because during the final boss, the boss just despawned. Oh, no. How the fuck does that happen? Well, and someone, someone was like, uh, oh, God, the near anime just came out. Was this Yoko Taro's plan the whole time? <laughs> it's funny. I, I get that joke. I, I don't. I don't get that joke, but... You desire to be yeah. killed that much? We're talking about this chin. This this no shadow, though. <laughs> he he kind of looks like evil Kronk a little bit. He does yeah. give evil Kronk vibes. He's the yeah. anti-Kronk. Oh, yeah, baby. Well, he really is the anti-Kronk when you think about it. Yeah. You don't respect women. Where the fuck did the stream go black for me? Oh. Oh, it's not playing an ad right now. What? No, it wasn't even playing an ad. It just went black. Oh, is My it just black for you guys? No, 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 no. I had to refresh the page and it's back to normal. It was only on my end. Oh, okay. Oh, shit. I should... This mask, I should probably tear it off. Oh, this is very painful. <laughs> I mean, it's preferable to... Was it Persona 3 or 4 where you shoot yourself in the head? No, you just force yourself traumatically to summon your persona. You don't really shoot yourself, you just traumatize yourself. <laughs> I know, oh, but shit. the implication is that you shoot yourself in the head. Pretty much. So I'd, ripping a, off a mask that's seemingly attached to your face, I feel is preferable. Oh, it's yeah. Not, it's, not, it's not fantastic, but it's preferable. Yep. You'll never break these chains, bitches. <laughs> I can break these chains! You can't break those chains. I'm not, I'm not doing the scream. I'm not. No. Also, I think I said it when I first played this game myself. Our sense design is so fucking solid. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Real question. Have you guys seen that clip from cops where they arrest the, the little person who's clearly high on something? What the? I think? And he's just like... I can break these cuffs! And the cop's like, you can't break those cuffs. And the guy just starts screaming as he tries breaking the cuffs off of himself. I think I have seen that clip, yes. It's a classic. Guards, you really tough, intimidating knights. Show them your true form. We're cute this pumpkin guy. boys. Oh god, I gotta reconsider who I hire as guards. Oh, so I read a really good Agent Venom comic today where he has to team up with Jack o' Lantern to uh, do an assassin, to basically do like a pickup job and find another symbiote. In the first uh, Jack o' Lantern cracks me up in Marvel because at his best, he's a knockoff Green Goblin, and I mean that in every sense of the word because he's even using like Dolan Goblin tech. 
Yep. Not even like current goblin tech, outmoded goblin tech. Well, it's funny because the version I saw, uh, the glider is actually just a broomstick. Oh yeah, no. Okay, so you saw glider, er, the glider version of Jack O' Lantern. No, I'm t I'm thinking of the one where it's like this weird circular platform that's very clearly the same tech as a goblin glider. I have a, I have a comic where he fights Captain America on that, on that glider. <laughs> Yeah, if anything, the broomstick looks better with him. It's a lot less silly and more thematic. It's still yeah. silly, but less silly than the circular disc. If I if I couldn't play Big Wheel in a MCU movie, I would love to play Jack o' Lantern. I mean, it, also Jack o' Lantern is just one of those like supervillain identities that's like a, whoever like wants it can have it. I like it. It's a fun one. Like, like I said, Spider Man Spider Man's Rogues Gallery is a lot of fun. What was that? It's got the same kind of cheesiness that Batman's has, but also it still has has like the rogues of like, yeah, no, you don't fuck with these guys. They they have a lot of his villains that some in some incarnations have like almost a weird working relationship with Spider Man. Uh, Sandman. Sandman's a big one, yeah. Sometimes Rhino, not always, but sometimes. Right, Rhino knows what's, what's good for business. He does. Um, what's another good Spider-Man villain? Or rather, a, you know what's a good Rose Gallery? I always forget it's a good one. X-Men. Like, they have a lot of really cool villains. Well, maybe close to wrong word, but a lot of really good villains that work really well. Yeah, you, Jack, are you familiar with Arcade, the X-Men villain? Of course I'm familiar with Arcade. He's so dumb, but actually a threat. <laughs> Wait, um, did you guys play Ultimate Alliance, the original? Not really, actually. He's one of the main villains. No, I, I did know that, but... And his... Again, again <laughs> describe him on paper. He so, sounds like so fucking corny, but he's been an actual legitimate like threat so many times. He's a really good villain, I think. As like a, as like a C tier player, he's a good villain. But then again, X Men have that for a few th characters, like Mojo. If you just looked at him, no one would ever be intimidated by Mojo. Other than His name's just Mojo. Okay. Other than the fact that he's piss ugly. Oh Jesus Christ! Wait, you don't know about Mojo? No, it's my first time hearing about him. So Mojo's whole deal is that he's from an alternate, wor another like a, a world in another universe called Mojo World, where he's obsessed with television. Specifically, he's basically like a really scuzzy interdimensional TV producer. He's regularly kidnapped the X Men and occasionally some other heroes to basically like perform in like death games for the sake of his TV shows. That's awesome. I'm looking through the X-Men Rogues Gallery list, and like, yeah, you got the Brotherhood of Evil Mutants, you got Magneto, Mystique, all those Mr. guys. Mr. Sinister. Oh, Sinister's a classic. Legion, that's a pretty good one, I think. Yeah, Sebastian. but Legion's not always a villain. Fair. Uh, Sebastian Shaw, Hellfire Club, Strife, to well, Toto's a member of the Brotherhood. Shadow King, Selene, and that just kind of ended for me. I swear there's more of them. I think that's like ones that only fight the X-Men, which is like the X-Men have been around so off, so long that their enemies fight a lot of different people. I need to I need to start getting into more X-Men comics. I, I always really liked them, but I mean I like been, have been absorbing the Krakoa arc vicariously through like the various Marvel content creators I follow. Now where's the? Um, I've been reading some of the modern Wolverine comics and they're pretty good. All right. Uh, ooh, Omega Red, that's a good one. He's not really a villain. He's, he's more of an anti-hero or anti-villain, maybe. Somebody made the argument he's a better rival for Wolverine than Sabretooth, and I kind of agree. Just a little bit. Wouldn't disagree. Because like, when we get down to it, Sabretooth is just Wolverine, but he's a little, he's a little mean. He's basically a little more feral Wolverine. No, wrong, wrong. I love Sabretooth, but like, yeah, Omega Red's fucking cool. God, Jack, did we not get into a fucking discussion about 
uh, Magneto removing uh, Wolverine's fucking exoskeleton yesterday or whatever. Well, so that was inspired by one of said content creators, like, joking about it briefly. The fact that Magneto removing the adamantium from Wolverine's skeleton was, like, the worst fucking move he could have made. Because all you did was just remove his... The little... only advantage you had to Wolverine, and frankly, also adamantium was actively toxic and, like, fucking slowly poisoning him. You should so, say... Like, he's actually be better than ever now. Oh, fuck, the only difference is one. that he's a little less, like, physically deadly. Looks like it's not about... But congrats, congrats, Eric. You removed your ability to throw the guy who wants to kill you across the room easily. And trust us, he's the one who really wants to kill you. I, I, I remember reading somewhere that, um... The X-Men are the dirtiest fighters in comic books as a team. Like, they will pull up on your shit and wreck you and just leave you that way. They're not wrong. I mean, the other trick with the X-Men is that, like, which team are you talking about? <laughs> like, the, like, people kind of use it as a blanket term for any of the mutant teams, but god, there's so fucking many. Here's the thing. Up until a certain point, Okay, here's the thing, because someone made a comment like every version of X Men Wolverine's there. That's not true. The original team never had him. Uh, he wasn't even a concept when the team first became a thing. But down the line, uh, yeah, no, Wolverine's been in every X Men incarnation since his debut on the team. Like, Jack, what's your favorite incarnation of the X-Men? I'm curious, because I don't have my own yet. I haven't really read the comics enough. See, I, I'm not actually, like, super, okay. like, into X-Men myself. Like, I've read a few books, but I don't really have a favorite. I, I do have a personal, like... I wouldn't even say he's my favorite mutant, but I got a soft spot for him. No. Fucking love my boy Glob Herman. Glob Herman, he's a classic. Um... My brother's favorite X-Men is Colossus. Don't know why. He, he always just, he, he told me like, yeah, X Colossus is my favorite one. Also, um, in, Ultimate, in the original Ultimate Alliance, if you have Colossus and Wolverine on the same team, Colossus will throw Wolverine. The fastball special. It, it, they really know what the fans want. <laughs> I do love that that's just such an accepted thing in X-Men, is there's a named move for picking up and throwing Wolverine. <laughs> Dude. Worst comes to worst, throw the guy who will just get Wolverine. back up no matter what happens. <laughs> man who saved another man's life from the fucking atomic bomb going off. I like the Wolfram movie, okay? It's not a good movie, but I like it. Oh, X-Men Origins? No, 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 the other one. Oh, the Wolverine. Really? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, I'm going. If... Like, yes, Logan is is the definitive Wolverine movie, but I, I like uh, the one where he goes to Japan. It's a fun movie. I'll never forgive him for how they teased us with the suit. We shouldn't. That, that was a dick move on their part. What's a good, uh... Oh God, now you got me on an X-Men kick. Fuck. Yes. I don't even like them that much. Well, they're just such a fun team to talk about. Like, alright, hands down. Don't even think about it. Who's the least likable X-Men? Uh, Beast. I don't... Mm. I, I'm not familiar well, with this Only comic. because he's always, like, two steps away from turning full supervillain. Fair. I was gonna say Cyclops a little bit. No, I'd honestly, like, there's a reason he's also, like, one of the ones that's on almost every X-Men team. No, no, he's, like, a, he's a decent leader, but, like, he's such a stick in the ass at all times. So we get it, dude. Your girlfriend's sleeping with another guy on the team. We get it. It's not true. Um, everybody knows that that's a poly relationship at best. 
And by that, I mean... Look, Logan cucks Scott. We know that. Does that... No one's arguing that. Was all that anyway? What's with the, we uh, have fun comic book discussions on all night gaming. I, we really do. We I kind of, I enjoy it. I, I'll be honest. I kind of went in and out a little bit. Uh, I heard well, Paul your relationship, and I was like, what? <laughs> We're here for color commentary and to occasionally uh, ramble off into side back. topics that we get distracted by. <laughs> Look, Wait, put it best. Jack is Jim Ross. I'm Paul Heyman. <laughs> then you should the best commentary team in pro wrestling history. Fight me. If you spout any That's to wrestling fans, not to you two. <laughs> oh, actually, the, the true goats is Jim Ross and Jerry Lawler, but I love Paul Heyman, so. Yep. A Minister of um, Transport announcer. Sure. <laughs> um, <need> fuck. <sighs> you know, you know who would be a cool guest to have on this show if we ever get to that point in if life? If we ever get cool enough for people to be like, yo, I totally love your show. And then they, <laughs> they and then they, and then the stream ends and they're like, all right, thanks for, thanks for the free promotion. Um, yeah, I'm absolutely. Sure That's 100% what, what would happen. Exactly it's literally fucking, you. We received a call. it's kind of like on Hot oh, One when people are like, mm. wow, so Sean, you're asking really you good questions me? right now. So you have no Actually, Sean Evans does ask really good questions. Mm -hmm. But, um, I would like to have Panda Red on the show and just talk about comic How books. You speak that way? God, yeah, no. I would lose my shit. Fucking just, like, geek out about little fucking Marvel really things or fucking any anything. Also, Jack, I know I asked you about this earlier. I was asking you about a comic series called Nemesis. Still, you're mm. coming mm -hmm. to me. It's basically... Evil Batman. That's literally what it is. It's Batman if he just decided, you know what? I'm just gonna murder everybody. And like, not just like, his rogues gallery. <laughs> no, 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 no. Like, he's gonna go after the fucking US government. Um, I didn't say it was good. It's a Mark Miller comic, so... Take that ah. for real. I'm sure you've heard from the Ultra uh for the sake of it. Got it. Uh, they just started a new series, and I decided, fuck it, I'll read the first issue and just see what I think about it. It's probably gonna be terrible. Like it's gonna be, it's gonna have a lot of good art, cool action scenes, but like ultimately, it's gonna mean absolutely nothing to me once I'm done with it. It's gonna be like, cool, that was a waste of my fucking life. Oh no. Sorry, I just joined an alliance raid in Final Fantasy, and it's the one I was talking about earlier. Oh god, well, into an old it's a good thing that we're playing Persona 5, because this is going to be a while. <laughs> I'm going to have you continue the also generally shocked that I joined the alliance raid the roulette, and it's not the new one that was added this week. <laughs> It all came out oh, so I just got the Zora tunic. But there should have been no connection you know what that means, boys. Since you had Why did you target it's time for the water temple. You guys can say anything if you want. Sorry, I switched out again. <laughs> Fuck my head. You got to the water temple in Zelda Ocarina of Time. Uh, well, it's a good thing we're playing Persona 5. This is going to be a while. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. Where's the I'm stairs? very excited to experience the water temple for all that people talk about it. You ready to get thirsted over by a fish child? Wait. Oh, that already happened. Oh, right. I couldn't remember where Rudo sh sh shows up first. Well, I I'm guessing she's one of the guardians that you save. So yes. She will still be thirsting over me once we get to that. Oh, shit. Wait. Man. Fuck, I have to go back to the ice cavern. There, like, I should clarify. I'm only, like, oh, knowing this raid because, like, like I said earlier, I heard there was, like, a really bad, like, glitch with it during the final boss. But this raid, it's dip it's solidly difficult and it's cool as shit. <laughs> cool. Time to fucking explain myself. <laughs> Being over half a day late. You don't have you to. I'm no, four days late. 
Okay, no, you actually have to explain yourself. How are you fucking four days late? Four hours late. <laughs> oh, how are you four hours late? Uh, we went into a castle. You were given fair warning fair enough. yesterday. But, like, if we tell her that we went into a castle that was actually a school, we might get tried for psychiatric. Yeah, I can't imagine why they'd want to do that. They'd be like, this kid's fucking crazy. Wait. Oh, a castle over the school? Wow. Mm -hmm. She's like, she's like calling. Play for 10. Mm -hmm. She's like calling 911 right then and there. He's like, there's a panic button underneath the desk. <laughs> SWAT team just fucking swings into the school like, yeah, fucking, we gotta take this kid out now. What? <laughs> He's like, you're just gonna go with these nice men. It's like a guy with like a chair and like a leather jacket. <laughs> oh, sorry, not a leather. Fuck, let me rephrase this. A stretcher and like a straight jacket. There we go. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that's the one. Yeah, you know, a singular guy. You don't need two people to operate a stretcher. <laughs> oh, Jesus, Kevin. Huh? Don't... Mm -hmm. Anyway, moving on. Yeah, also, apparently there's rumors about me, and I just got here. Being super I mean, you're a kid day. who showed up at the school with a criminal record, and the principal's, in the like, eye. fucking calling you aside for talks. That kind of shit spreads fast. He didn't really send us aside for talks. That was the first day we met them. To introduce ourselves. I, like, I don't know about you, but, like, fucking school kids are gossips. Yep. He seems quiet. But they're good at it. I mean, he was arrested for assault. Uh, your seat was over there. Sorry, but can the people need... Ugh, this... Mm. Yeah, so that I don't think that cutscene with uh I don't remember is a lies. Yes. What is his name? I forgot his name. Oh god, he's like he's our biggest fanboy and I forgot his name. <laughs> no, no, no. No. No, never. I hate that fucking show. <laughs> Please. That song sounds like someone got drunk and started shouting stuff and then they didn't have time to write a new song. I, that's actually accurate. It's what it sounds like. <laughs> is this a school or is this a castle? Which one should would be the least? <laughs> is this a school? <laughs> It's a school, yes. You're in a high school. Uh, is this a castle? Are we human? Or are, are we sure dancers? Also, it seems like people are already talking about you. I can't even catch a break. Is Kevin sign vital? No. But his hands are cold. Oh, oh okay. Him, don't get involved. Someone, co somebody ah, contacted fuck. Someone dropped the answer. I gotta get up down on my knees to try to get it. <laughs> what do you want? I mean, they're looking for it at least. It, it, it's like a context lens. Like, what the hell? <laughs> that, 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 this might be a too much uh, TMI question for you, Kevin. Have you considered context before? Yes, and I look horrible without glasses on. No, I don't believe that. No, trust me. I feel like I look much better. I'm not gonna say. On. I'm not gonna say he looks horrible without glasses. But like, some people just like how they look with glasses. There's nothing to judge about that. <laughs> Oh, of course. I was just curious. Like, trust me. Why does this guy want his gun so bad? <laughs> um. We just got here. He's spreading our. He's like talking about us being a criminal. We, we literally just got here, man. I mean, he's a massive piece of shit. <laughs> Yeah, but what did we ever do to and him? You're, and you're a little rebel who isn't falling in line. Anyways, gotta get to the roof. Gotta get to the roof, gotta get to the roof. Oh, also, look, I wonder who she could be. She could be anybody, Kevin. She's, she has her own face image. Yes. And now she's gone. <laughs> Well, that was weird. Anyways, gotta get to the room. <laughs> there you are. Sorry for calling you up here like this. I bet Kawakami already told you stuff like. I will be right back. I have to use the bathroom. She said you were trouble. <laughs> <laughs> well, pretty much. I heard you got a criminal record. No wonder you were so good. 
Look, man. So what's up? What was all that that happened? You know, it wasn't a dream, right? Yeah, of course I remember. <laughs> well, just because we both remember it doesn't. It was all like, what? And can I take your order, sir? And I was like, uh, you sure? I'll take the burger. And then it was the worst burger. Man, that castle was really terrible. So yeah. And it was stark white on the outside. Yeah. I've actually, not for lack of wanting to, I've never been to a physical white castle. Uh, I value my digestive system. <laughs> Closest I've gotten is that I've been to some movie theaters that sell white castle sliders. You know, the guy you met at the school gate, that asshole who was all full of himself at the cap. No one says anything against him because he's some medalist who took yep. the way Kamashita was king of that castle felt crazy real because of I wonder if we can go back to that castle. Forget it. it must have been a dream. It has to. Sorry to nah, it's all right, man. You know, you are the only person that uh, hasn't accused me of being a criminal and wants to actually be ya. next to me. <laughs> so I think we're pretty chill. <laughs> I don't have the courage to tell him that it was a drug trip. <laughs> Uh, I, I really couldn't help it, but I am sorry. <laughs> Just when I was thinking you had it. Look, basically, they called called our guardian about like basically we missed half a day of school, <laughs> making you look like a troublemaker. Yeah, and we're out if we're a troublemaker, out on the street, out of school. In the juvenile or the juvie. <laughs> Don't forget to lock the door and turn all the lights off, okay? I will. You ought to go to jail. I'm leaving. I told you. No. You ever been to? <laughs> Live an honest student life. God, I wish. <laughs> ASMR segment of the show. Um, <laughs> About time you've come to... Oh, sorry, it was my ice crunching coming over the mic. No, no, it was me making several noises. Our wishes to speak I see. With you. It's... First off, let us celebrate our reunion. Yeah, that was real as fuck, yo. <laughs> That's basically what this whole scene is. Your rehabilit real fucking kid right there, I swear. There is no need to... You will be training the power. Personas are in... I have high... <sighs> what do you mean by you have high expectations of me? There is no need to. By the by, have you come to use Don't it? don't don't worry about it. By the way, do you like my app? I had a Mr. Zuckerberg so develop you it. You went a little crazy, but it's all right. I think it's pretty cool. You better take care in using it, inmate. Devote yourself to your training. It must be disheartening. God, I knew Mark Zuckerberg was behind all of this. Oh my god, someone in this raid doesn't know how it works and they're gonna get us all killed! <laughs> Way to go, Leroy. So, for context, uh... There's a raid boss in this called Hansel and Gretel. Where the idea is... Like, one's, one is in spear mode and the other is in shield mode. And if you attack the one in shield mode, you get, like, a blowback Seriously? of damage every time you attack them. Mm -hmm. And so you have to, like, alternate uh, which one you're attacking. The problem is, if you leave them too close together, they What's get both uh, uh, buffs. And so two tanks have to, like, pull them separately and keep them apart from each other. Mm-hmm. Unfortunately, the tanks weren't doing that. Yeah, one with the uh, I guess so. She's so it's not fair. I've got my hair in a Okay, and what Please, take my s 
My station's coming up. Are you sure? <coughs> hmm. Wow, what speed. Wow. Really, man? <laughs> what would I do? Excuse me. No, did you not see that guy just like freaking take that old lady's seat and fall asleep? Ah, classic scumbag move. Should I wake him up? Yeah, bother him. Alright. I can understand his position as well. I'm sorry I couldn't be It's alright, dearie. Don't you worry. I'll just kill him and put him in a little trash can. Like the garbage he is. Uh, okay. Okay, Granny. Thank you, Thank you so All much, right. sweetie. I totally forgot about the new party member they add in Royal. That uh, wasn't in the original game. Yeah. Pardon me. Pardon me. Thank you so. Uh, what did I do? What? For speaking up when I offered my seat on the train. Oh, let's see. You're a second year at Shujin Academy. Oh, do they literally put a two on you? <laughs> That's what that two means. You're a second year. I mean, didn't you transfer late? So that kind of makes sense. Yeah. I mean, of course, but I didn't realize that the uniform has a literal two. Oh god, I like, hope these I are, get these to... are some very style over substance school uniforms. Let's be honest. Yeah, it's true. Oh no, it's Mr. Ushimaru. <laughs> oh, I actually have to pay attention. I forgot there's exams in this game. A period oh, of 365 disappointments. Man. 2020, huh? <laughs> What's up? Ah, oh, fuck. Devil's Dictionary to find as uh uh ah fuck. Wait, Help. what's the question? Sorry. Chat. The De Devil's Dictionary what? defined chief as a chief factor in the progress of what? In the, is it intelligence? In the progress oh. of the human race. Um, I'm gonna guess uh intelligence. All right. I'm, I'm gonna double down. I think it's intelligence, too. It might be money, but... Do you know anything? <laughs> oh, villains. Oh, that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Sure, avoid me because I don't study. Which one of y'all study? <laughs> Not me. Wow, this girl with the red ponytail that wasn't in the previous game, she's suddenly all the rage. It, she does have a bit of a vibe like an OC. Yeah. Like, I'm, I'm sure she's perfectly fine, but the fact that she's like a party member added for the sake of this version, she feels a bit like an OC. Yeah. She, 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 she kind of... Slight spoiler alert, her, her form looks a lot like Joker's too. So like for the time with all the promotions and stuff, we thought that you could have a female protagonist for a while. Which would be cool, but whatever. But you know, it's the same thing. She's still like an interesting character and everything. I can't even remember, what's her fucking persona? It's a dancer, I remember. Fuck. I, I'd have to get to that part again. That part, uh, comes later. I'll just say that it's later. What's up? I want to talk about. I tried telling my. I can't. I want to find. And you know. Yeah, sure. What's up? What's next? Nice. They gave me two options to back I out, by the way, and only one source. to be like, oh yeah, sure, fuck it. In the meantime, let me know if you notice any other weird. Ryuji doesn't seem like a bad guy. I should probably go along with this. Meanwhile, all of Persona 4 was like. Seeing uh, Yosuke get like hit, like crash his like bike a bunch of times, get like time. kicked square in like the groin by uh, Chie, and we were just like, he looks in pain. Probably best to leave him be. <laughs> when did they build something like that? 
We walk that way from here. Boys. Maybe. 25 beers in the making. What's 25 beers Five in the minutes. making? This way. Five minutes to the water temple. Let me know if you know. Oh god. There's here this like. Go. I'll tell you guys after the action stream actually. It might no, no, go ahead. Say it. What's up? There's this beer that's like. Beer? Uh, they advertised it as plantation beer. <laughs> What? Yeah. Collaborate. So, so there's this beer where like they use all stuff grown on like a farm, which they call like a plantation, and so it was like celebrating 20 years of like of like plantation grow of our natural plantation product, and I'm just like, could you please like like anything else? <laughs> please use a different word. Yep, like anything. Just like celebrating 20 years of plantation. I'm like, uh... <laughs> pretend like plantation isn't a controversial thing to say. I mean, like, it's just one of those it, things where it's just like... a word that maybe, like, by its definition doesn't have a negative connotation, but by its modern context and historical context, it does. Yeah, just like, it uh... Does. It's a little uncomfortable. It, it's like a very uncomfortable thing where it's like, uh, I don't want... Why... Again, the literal definition of think? plantation technically doesn't have anything wrong with it, but it's in the context of, like, its association throughout its use in history that it becomes an issue. Huh? Hey, that reminds oh. me. To, to avoid dancing around the subject, it's the problem is that 99% of the time, historically, plantations were operated by slave labor. Yeah, and they were not fun places. That's a way to say it, Kevin. Yeah, very if we're like being very like cut around the bush, they're just uh really terrible. <laughs> Cute logo, huh? <laughs> just end the conversation there. But yeah, no, it's, it's just like me and my friend who is uh. Well, I should stop the conversation here. Nah, it's not. I was trying. How do I say this? No, I mean like. It was funny because like I was with my friend who's like, who was like born and raised in India, and we both look at this and we're just like, mm. <laughs> like, like is this really like what we're looking at right now? Let's try using. No, I'm, I, I, I had a joke. I probably shouldn't say there. Never mind. <laughs> yeah, this is you see, It's such like a weird dodgy subject. Like it's a funny scenario where like, oh, you, oh, this is this is whack, isn't it? And then you try to talk about it, and you're like, I have to skirt. I'm doing a show. I have to skirt around so many details. <laughs> oh, Lord. Yes. I don't know about this thing. Kamoshido. Kamoshido. Well, well, no, I don't know. Maybe plantation wasn't the right word. Yeah, just like, guys, you could celebrate 20 years of your product, but uh, maybe, maybe you should not... What the hell? Not, like, uh, call it that. Oh, also, here we are. The world is transforming. Look at that cute logo, by the way. Such an adorable fucking logo. Oh. Oh, god damn it! Someone, the the fabric of our universe is breaking again. So. Again? Damn it! I hate when that happens. Fucking. I... Fucking. Do you guys? Do you guys remember those? Do you guys remember those videos where it was like, uh, hold on one second. Oh, I just found Rudo. Um, it's like those actors trying out for a role. It's like you could buy, you could stop at five or six stores or just one. And then oh, they yeah. just, uh, my favorite one of those is one. My favorite one of those is the actress that goes, I hate it when she touches me like that. Because that just leaves the door open to a lot of things to talk about. Mm -hmm. Like, what do you mean, lady? Oh, real quick, I love Joker's surprise, like, oh, fuck, I did change clothes. Yeah. And then my response, like, you like what you see? <laughs> it's not terrible. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Take a picture, it'll last longer. <laughs> so Rudo just said that I'm her fiancé, and I, Link's I told you, she's a thirsty kid. Yeah, you, don't you remember? You fine. Have, you don't remember the arranged marriage? He We're forgot about the arranged that. marriage. We did here. all of those flyers. <laughs> and then he gets sent seven years in the future. All those flyers, man. Anyways.
Oh. <laughs> Explain it in a way that makes sense. I shouldn't. What did you say? So, are you in the middle or are you finishing the palace? That's the real question. Who me? Yeah. I just got here. Oh, wait, Rudo's just there? Yeah, she's just hanging out. Oh shit. We saw other guys held captive here yesterday. Now she's gone. Most anyway. Orders. Yep. What's more? That's just how it is. Yesterday. He must have lost that son of a Oh, you can't do anything when you're underwater. Cool. That's fun. Now so, I know why. Now I know why people fucking hate this level. Doing that isn't going to open still, it seems you Yeah. Hey Mona Mona! Oh yeah, Kevin, one thing I didn't mention is so like I've been talking a few times that Final Fantasy XIV got an update earlier this week. One of the things that came is that Paladin got a somewhat of a rework uh, that people were kind of dreading. Mm -hmm. And it's like, and a few other classes got tweaked too, like some ability changes. Like, stuff happens like every few major updates or so. Uh, the thing that like cracked me up though is seeing uh, someone I follow basically say, Summoner mains after the new so, patch. Uh, yep, we're still here because literally nothing was changed. Yep, not even a little bit. Oh, I'm sorry. This is like a paladin crying over his shield this, nerf this and, the, and like a. It, it wasn't even that. It was like some mechanic change. Is mm -hmm. just like that meme about the guy who's like crying. It's like this sucks. They nerfed my best character. I can't believe they do this to me. And then the summoner's just sitting there with like Bahamut over his shoulders, like. Sorry, what was that? I couldn't hear you over my death dragon. <laughs> Please, do you think summoners are like still high off their own shit over Bahamut? No, it's the fact that we now have full size summons. Let's go. No so, more eggies for us. So it's just a guy with both hands in the air, like it cuts it's like this sucks. I can't believe they nerfed my favorite character. I never want to play Paladin again. And then it's the friggin' scene from Never Ending Story on top of the back of Ifrit where the summoner's like, Yeah, <laughs> Uh, I, I think, honestly, like, a big thing with the uh, Paladin changes, it was a sort of thing where, like, they're trying to fit it into this current, like, meta of a two-minute rotation. And some people think the way they're going about it is a little clunky. Personally, I don't really mind it that much, but I also am not a Paladin main by any means. Also, Never Ending Story, very false uh, title. It, it definitely ended. I, I, I'm no longer watching it. So, uh, oh, they made a sequel. You know Maybe I, that's not too misleading, I guess. Oh, wait, that one ended too. Oh, a third one in Jack Black's in Excuse it? Excuse okay. me, sir. Oh, that, that one ended too, and this time I kind of wanted it to. <laughs> that, that, that theme song still goes hard, I'm sorry. Oh, fuck, right. And the they... first movie is fantastic. Like, I'm not I, gonna argue that. Fun fact, I've never seen that movie. Really? So you didn't get traumatized by our tax? Nope. <laughs> I'm very happy about that. Yep. It, it's funny because on my letterbox, I have a... I have... Accumulated? Is that a word? Accumulated? I have acquired. I've acquired um, over 2,800 movies watched in my lifetime. No, accumulated is a good word for it. Damn it. Why it down? My point is, of all the movies I've seen, somehow Never Ending Story is not on that list. It might have been transferred already. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh crap. I can't... It would be a problem. No, personally, I didn't see it when I was that young, so it didn't traumatize me like it did some other people. I, I, I have heard they are very good movies. The shadows pro <laughs> I've heard good things about the first one. No, the first one's pretty good. The first one, yes. I've, I've heard the first one's very good. <laughs> Sorry, I, I realized my mistake when I said the sequels were good. I've, I've seen the Nostalgia Critic reviews. I know that they are not... Yeah, those ever-so-reliable uh, things that are the Nostalgia Critic reviews. You know, the reviews that told me that Lost World was also a bad movie, which it isn't. I mean, is it a, as good as the original Jurassic Park? Fuck no. I don't think so personally, but it's definitely the strongest of the sequels. Oh, absolutely. But when you look at Jurassic Park 3, that's not, like, that much of an achievement. Now, I'm gonna be the devil's advocate here. 
I enjoy the Jurassic World movies. I don't dislike them. They're like decent popcorn movies. Uh, but like obviously like when you like by their nature of being like a spin-off, you are like kind of made to compare them to uh, Jurassic Park. The problem is, I wouldn't even qualify them as spinoffs because they are technically direct sequels. Of I yes, but they almost never directly allude to those movies. I mean, which is kind of a good thing, kind of a bad thing. No, it was like it was a kind of necessary thing in order to like Make properly like fucking avoid said comparisons that I mentioned. I yeah, which like you know, it's good. And then oh, look, I like Claire. I like Owen. I like. I like the divorce plot. Yeah. Uh, no, nobody likes that. I, I don't think anybody liked that from the first movie. This, this scene looks so bad without like a fucking uh, text box explaining that it's a model. <laughs> By the way, I thought we'd run into danger. Here you go. Wait, it's only a model? Yeah. Totally. Camelot? Do 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 do. Or guns like around I table. Like what? <laughs> I mean, this is the royal version of Persona Five. I guess you're right. Yes, I should be sounding more pristine, shouldn't I? Mm-hmm. <laughs> yes. God, I, I was rewatching uh, Holy Grail recently. It's such a good fucking movie. Of course, it's a great movie. A, a good movie that should not have happened, um, by all accounts, should not have been made. Really? Or at the very least, it shouldn't have been finished. What? <laughs> Oh, Kevin doesn't know about the fucking awful experience it was to make that film. No! <laughs> Damn it! Uh, do I want to pull up the list of problems that the, the production had? I mean... I mean I'm I on it. Guess. Man, why does this have to be such a downer playthrough? First I stumble over my words, then I fucking get reminded of Logan Paul, and now I gotta learn that one of my... One of the comedy movies I like is actually like, oh, there's a really shitty, like, situation with that that was not cool. I mean, Kevin, if we went down a list of every really good movie that had a really, like, rough production, that would be a long time. Oh, God. Like, don't let your- don't get too hung up over it. Yeah. Well, for starters, let's just say they were supposed to have horses, uh, horses for the movies. <laughs> Okay. And they couldn't afford it, so they just got coconuts and made horse sounds. Uh, secondly, let's talk, about the, uh, let's talk about the fact that on the very, very first day of filming, the very first day of filming, the primary camera broke. <laughs> oh. Um, the actor who played King Arthur got sick, and when he wasn't sick, he was getting belligerently drunk. Oh, God. Um, let's not forget John Cleese forgetting his lines and having to improvise them. Mm -hmm. But that's more so it's just a John Cleese thing. That's not really a production thing. Yep. Um, how about the fact that the movie was supposed okay. to end with a grand final battle, but again, they didn't have the money for it, so they just ended it with the king, with King Arthur and his last knight getting arrested. Holy Grail shouldn't have been finished. Probably not. I, I will say, with the horse thing, it led to one of the funniest running gags in the movie, so... Oh, no, can't be too mad. No, 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 no. What? Like, by, by luck, that movie became one of the all-time greatest comedies. And, but... and no, I don't just mean them running around clopping coconuts together. I mean the fucking sparrow. Oh, yeah, no. How'd you know to ask about the sparrows? I know these things when you're king. Could have been carried here. By what? I don't know. A sparrow could have carried it. Sparrow? <laughs> that is a good point. I've completely forgotten about the fucking. <laughs> yeah, the sparrow joke originates from explaining why they have coconuts. Yeah, no, I forgot about that. Yeah. So this is the part that's different. Your ammo restores uh, after battles. It used to not. <laughs> Yeah, that's interesting. Yeah, not this game bad. does a lot of, like, things to make it a little bit easier, but, like, also, like, what, 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 if, besides, like, enemies that, like, you had to research were weak to gun, there really wasn't a purpose to having the gun. Listen to this. Gun. 
Ah, the oh. Persona staple. Wait, I what? See. We'll defeat you with the power of friendship and this gun I found. The power of friendship will invigor your spirit, make you stronger. Pew, 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 hey, pew! Oh Hold on. Oh, shit. The gallows flower, huh? Well, it's time for you to hang those hands up. It's that Kermit the Frog bit where he's like a magician. He's like, for my final trick, he just pulls out a Glock. Oh, wait, you didn't even know our ammo would return? You just said without doubt that it did. And that might just be a writer's inconsistency. Shit happens like that a lot. It is funny. Well, I mean, also it's an RPG, so like sometimes you have to be very repetitive. Yeah. Look, Morgana, this is how it's gonna work. You 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 do everything I say, man. It's so much easier that way. Also, how the hell are you at a, th a third health, Morgana? Like, like we just what, got what? here, Morgana. What the fuck? Also, I, I know I sent it to the members text at one point, but uh, don't Google uh concept art, Morgana. Uh, why? Uh. Let's just say it makes a lot more sense why you'd find him in the dungeon. The first move is ours. I'm good. I don't need to know why. Right. The... Oh, I forgot. The song also changes. This is now Takeover instead of Last Surprise. So now that the last surprise is I get fucked over by the enemy. That's my last surprise. Because <laughs> it used to be like, aha, I got the upper hand on them. But now it's like Takeover, like, oh, I have the ability to take them over. And now I get ambushed and Last Surprise is like a sting to me, like, yes, I know they got the drop on me, I don't need to be reminded. I appreciate a game that, like, cleverly uses its music like that. Yeah, it is great. Uh... Oh, yeah, I, I, recently, I recently had the Hades soundtrack recommended to me on Spotify, so of course I listened to it immediately. <laughs> Oh, now it's my favorite mechanic in a game. Are you ready for this? Uh, that, that, uh, when I was visiting uh, Jack and going to check out a theme park, uh, we actually listened to the Hades oh. soundtrack. And was it Hades Town soundtrack? We listened to? That's Hades Town, the Broadway play. I mean, Hades the game. Uh, oh, okay. Two different soundtracks. Both of them are very good. <laughs> No, Hades Town, fantastic, excellent Broadway show. Um, little sad that I never got to see a lot of the original cast on there, but still, if you have a chance to see it, regardless, check it out. If you have the means and all that, because I know like Broadway is a bit exclusionary in that regard. Like, it's not exactly like you either pray that like you can get decently affordable seats when they tour near you, or you fucking get a ticket to New York. Um, have you, Jack, because you're the only other theater guy. I, mean, I don't want to exclude Kevin from the conversation, but What's I don't know. Kevin, do you like theater? Uh, I do like a good play every now and then. I used to go to a lot, like, at our local theater, for sure. Again, I live, like, outside D.C., so I can, like, go to the Kennedy Center to see touring shows, so that's always been nice. Plus, uh, Amtrak runs up to New York if I need it. <laughs> yeah, and I, well, I mean, I have access to New York, and I also have, uh, well, not anymore, but I used to have MacArthur Theater in Princeton, which had a lot of great plays. Um, however, the play I'm about to talk about is, isn't related to any of this. How familiar are you guys with a little musical known as We Will Rock You? Pardon? <laughs> It's a musical where the entire soundtrack is Queen. Oh, that's... A, is it about Queen, or is the soundtrack just Queen music for no reason? It, not for no reason. But, but it is cool. not about Queen. They just used the entirety of Queen. Like, they've just made the entire thing a Queen-specific jukebox musical. So I'm about to spoil this whole thing. So. I don't feel like I'll care. <laughs> so... We Will Rock You is a musical where, and this, by the way, this is the most Gen X fucking musical ever written, by the way. And you'll know what I mean when I start explaining. In the future, oh, music, we're off the brilliant part. music is no longer man-made, 
We don't use instruments. It's all made on computers. Oh, this is some boomer shit. <laughs> yeah, no, Gen X boomer type shit. Mm -hmm. Now all, all the rock legends are dead, and only a group of rebels led by... Well, okay, it's different depending on where you see the play, but typically the joke is the leader of the rebels is named Brit, and the joke is like, ooh, Brit, he's a tough guy, we love Brit, and you find out it's... It's short for Britney Spears. That's the joke. Uh, it, it, it's it's that kind of joke. Yes. Um. But there's a there's a new, the main character is this handsome young man named Galileo. Uh, this is painful. <laughs> Would you believe me if I said it's a lot more enjoyable if you just experience it? Because they at least they sound good when they sing Queen songs. Come on, man. Um, but yeah, no, they have to they have to they have to stop the Killer Queen. Uh, it, it's it's so all like, cheesy jokes. It's all cheesy music jokes. Um, there's a girl who he falls in love with. Her name's wait, am I mixing up fucking names in this shit? Hold on. No, you did not. No, hold on. Also, I want yeah. to mention that I did was like, oh hell yeah, this is my favorite mo moment in the game, mechanic in the game, and it wasn't that mechanic. It was a completely different mechanic, and I was just sitting there awkwardly like, where is the, uh, where's the button for it? Okay, so yes, the main character's name is Galileo, and his love interest is Scara, oh, short for Scaramouche. This way. Uh... Um, and so Brit's, there's also Brit's girlfriend, who's either named Oz or Meat, short for Ozzy Osbourne or Meatloaf. Why? Also, Galileo is the reincarnated form of Freddie Mercury, and Scaramouche is the reincarnated form of Brian May. What the fuck? Why? <laughs> Who made- I'm, as, as soon as I'm done with this raid, I'm googling this shit, only to find out who I blame for this. Uh oh, it's a book. Hold on, what? This this sounds worse than fucking yesterday. It's enjoyable. I'll put it that much. Because they they because well, the story is kind of trash. Um, the actual play, they treat it like it's a concert. So I mean, it's a lot like not the worst idea, like set up for a jukebox musical I've ever heard. It's actually a lot of fun to see it, but yeah, no, the story's terrible. It's a, it's not a good story. Every, like, story detail or character name you told me just actually made me, like, kind of recoil a little bit. Um, I will say, I'll give them points for this. The Flash Gordon theme song is on the soundtrack. Didn't have to be, but it's there. Um, also... Just so you just so you know, they have an encore, and they save one song for the encore. You already know what song it is. Play along a little bit, Jesus. <laughs> just kidding. I mean, we are the champions, I assume. So what do you mean, Rhapsody? Oh, I, I figured because it was the fucking title song. I don't know. Well, we will rock you as the title song. Oh, right. Now, why did I think? Sorry, I blanked out on the name of the play already. <laughs> I think my brain's like rejecting it. Like, get it out. I don't want to know more. <laughs> I already told you. me less. I already told you everything you needed to know. But it, look, look, it's a, it's more of an experience than an actual musical. It's, it's not really good per se. No, really. But like. It's got like things I enjoy about it. It's about it, but music was better 20 years ago when we really didn't have much to really compare to other than Dean Martin and Frank Sinatra. Sorry, I was just thinking about like Kamoshido's foot's about the size of Morgana's body. How does Morgana's body support his head? Kevin's thinking about feet. No. You heard it here, folks. Kevin's thinking about feet. I'm thinking about... I can't say the other part either, because I was like, I was thinking about the 
the physics of Morgana's body supporting his head. Which means technically I was thinking about Morgana's body, I'm like, that's even weirder! <laughs> I mean... Kevin thinking about feet. No. Nah. You know what's funny? Whenever people are like, why why does why do they call American football football? The answer might make a lot of people mad. The foot in football is literally a foot long. Mm -hmm. Oh, what I expected. It's the only reason why they call it football. By that logic, let's call it yard ball. I feel like that's what I feel like that's what the English would call it, you know, like to give it like a, a, just so they don't have to call it American football. Man, why can't it ever just be painless to get a persona? Well, because then that's not really an experience for them. That was of course a... not. And now we're in Juice Juice to Captain Kid. <laughs> Isn't that a fucking Sega character? Oh, that's Alex again, my mistake. No, yeah. Captain Kid was a uh, pirate. Was it? I didn't know that. Yeah. Well, that's a fun fact. Did you guys know that Blackbeard didn't actually kill anybody until the his last battle? Wait, how do you do all that plundering without killing somebody? Yeah, his crew do it. Oh, of course. I was gonna say, I feel like there's a, like an asterisk here. Blast him away, Captain and trust me, you, you didn't want to be on the other end of Blackbeard's crew. They were rough. I mean, yeah, they were fucking pirates. <laughs> no, I mean, the shit they did was fucked up. Like, even for pirate standards. Also, Blackbeard was really, really, really gay. He had a really, I mean, I really have to nice. Imagine game. a lot of historical figures were that we just don't acknowledge. Uh, do you know who he was gay with, though? Mm. He just got a TV show recently. No, I don't think. I think the. I don't think. I don't know actually how much credence there is to the Steve bon Steve Bonnet Blackbeard thing. There's a lot of credence to it. Real, I'd have to look into that because I thought that was just something they did for the show. No, no, no. Wait, oh were, fuck! I could die here. <laughs> Never mind. Oh. Yeah, no. Steve Bond and Blackbeard were. Uh, yeah, they, they, they were. They had the hots. I mean, again, Steve Bonnet was like a fucking aristocratic dandy who like ran away from his miserable family life to become a pirate. I'm yeah. not shocked he's gay. And Reese Darby's performance really doesn't help with that. But <laughs> just kidding. No, I love Reese Darby. He's great. I've been watching some of Fly of the, Fly of the Concords, and I forgot how fucking good he is on that show. Uh, for context to those who haven't watched the show, Reese Darby plays their manager. I told you that this is my... And he is really fucking funny. Alright, that part doesn't happen yet either. I... Oh wait, does it? I don't remember. It's actually... I think his character has one of my favorite jokes when um, they're talking about uh, an affair within the band. He goes, oh, sometimes the fat's good for music. Look at Fleetwood Mac. All their best music happened when they're all having an affair. And then Brett just goes, ah, rumors. And then fucking Reese Darby's like, no, it's all true. And for anybody who doesn't know, Rumors is a Fleetwood Mac album. That's the joke. Well, I don't know who here knows Fleetwood Mac well. Nope, not really. Yeah, see? But then again, I don't really know anybody. You know yourself. Do I? Nobody uh, knows Kevin. what it's like to be Kevin. Also, can we be honest about something? Sure. The only purpose of the masked forms of the enemies in the inside the palaces is so that 
they don't have to render a bunch of random models around the map and can have some thematic cohesion with the, like the non-encounter versions of the enemies. Pretty much. Like they create a story reason, sure, but it's purely a game mechanical reason. I mean, like they did that in fucking uh, per all the Persona games. They're just like blobs. At least this one, they tried to give outfits to. <laughs> so mark that at twenty minutes in. What? I'm already googling a guide for the Water Temple. <laughs> Only twenty minutes in. Yep. I think I that's a know. record, Tim. Don't you remember? That's a record of fastest time to pull up a guide. Or sorry, not fastest time to pull up a guide. Uh, slowest time to pull up a guide. I need to erase so really, you did pretty well. Well, hold up. What are you going yeah, good kid. You got guts. You got guts. I I took two steps and gave up. Most people take one. <laughs> oh, I'm an idiot. Okay, so I missed something. Cool. <laughs> My, my problem is, I'm very quick to just call myself an idiot and move on with my life. I've come to notice that when I'm at work, because I work with a lot of people who are quote-unquote ball busters. So, the problem is, is my defense to that is just to make myself the fool for a joke and just try to play along with it. Fun fact, if, if you do that, people will think you're genuinely fucking stupid. <laughs> also, oh my, oh my God, Tim! I completely forgot about this. So earlier we were discussing like X Men, and I said one of my favorite X Men was Glob Herman. I forgot to mention one of my other favorite X Men, who I might like actually more than Glob Herman. Which one? And I thought about this because I got him in Marvel Snap. So, go on. Strong guy. <laughs> Oh my Christ! Look at him. Because he got a record. I don't think that'll help. He he looks like a character that belongs in like a kid's cartoon. They don't want to use like an actual superhero. No, so I actually genuinely love like jokes aside. I genuinely love Strong Guy. His name's uh, real name is Guido Caracella. Just like he did with. He is. Uh, <laughs> He's had it rough. <laughs> Don't all uh, Cause like, you might think, oh, he's just like got like it's an art style choice to have him have that like cartoonishly buff proportions. No, that's how he actually looks, and it's a bit of a problem. Oh god. So basically, uh, let me pull up the like direct definition. So, uh, strong guy's pow mutation is kinetic energy absorption. Basically. <laughs> If he, if he can converts kine absorbed kinetic energy into physical strength, the problem is it's not very easy for him to release it. So he'll just continue. His body will continue automatically building muscle mass as long as it is able to absorb kinetic energy. Oh God! To an unsafe degree. Mm -hmm. Like if he doesn't expend it within ninety seconds of absorbing it, he he it's permanent. Wait, what if, what if I don't want to acquire this new vow? Uh, what, what about this birth of freedom? Um, ah, oh, fuck, well, guess I'm here now. Like, basically, like, it's super strength with a catch, where, like, yep. yeah, you, like, you can right. absorb punches and turn them back on people, but if you don't do it quick, you're gonna look kind of like a mutated freak. <laughs> yeah. Ah, oh, crap. Uh, it's not working, I need to get hit by a truck real fast. Oh, thank God. He, he kind of pulls a Spider-Man in that he makes a lot of jokes to distract himself from, like, the stress of his own power. Also, it's constantly painful for, like, his body to be distorted like that. Mm -hmm. X-Men characters are fun. I unironically love Strong Guy. Like, um... <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna get some actual comic art from him just cuz again love this guy uh, here you go the first guy that made me I guess it's how we're treated I did this is like a decently uh, this next one's a decently common one you see like posted around of him and again 
He's like a pretty young guy, by the way. He's not like, or he was at least when he was first introduced doing this. I think he's a little older now because you see some pictures of him with like a beard, but. Oh, wait. I want to talk about this now while I'm here. So, I was looking at it, looking for a guide uh, for the Fire Temple, Kevin. And the guide I went to spent a lot of time doing fucking nothing. Yeah. Like, clearly it was somebody playing the level for the first time, or the release it came off that way. So there was a lot of moments of just, like, waiting for him to figure out what he had to do. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's... A... <laughs> that's another thing that didn't happen, but yeah. When, when did you get there? How far in? Uh... Like, right to the spot where I was at. Where he was kind of just like, what do I do here? I'm like... What well, mother motherfucker, you're supposed to be no. Whenever I close my uh, eyes. Some of Strong Guy's other aliases. Captain Capitalism. Can crush you with a glance, man. Like King of Hell, that's young. not a euphemism. Uh, and Just Mr. C. <laughs> it's all because you were... yeah. Again, that's not like a metaphor or a euphemism. He was the King of Hell for a brief More moment. Was huh. that injury okay? No, Good for it's him? nothing. It's normal. Especially since a meet's coming up. <sighs> Sorry to come. Huh? What does he want? He didn't say. On I. Uh, It'll be fine. I bet it's a meeting about the. Kevin never did Yeah. Well, yep. Oh, this is a heart that we need to get past. I forgot about this part. <laughs> Oh my god, I forgot about it. No, this part's really... Uh, it sucks. I take it you actually went to school. Of course I went to school today. Where else would I go? I guess you learned your lesson Hell. after what happened. As... Alright, Sojiro, chill. <laughs> your life is not a free one right I be now. I'm half late to, to work, or to school. <laughs> Yeah, no, so, let's just say, mm -hmm. for all the criticisms that the, all the fair criticisms that the Water just Temple just usually gets, from... I can't really say them because I missed a very obvious spot that I even looked at myself and said, I should probably look at that, and I just never did. Yeah. Yeah, no, on me, that's 100% on me. It's like, <laughs> it's like one of those things in the movie where, like, the guy's running past something, comes back and he's like, huh. This looks like something I'll need later. And then keeps running, and then it doesn't come up until the end of the movie. <laughs> no, it's my dumbass being like, huh, Nami's told me to go look at this thing, but I'm going to ignore her, because I know better. Oh yeah, one last detail about the strong guy, because, again, every time there's a fun and goofy X-Men character, we got to make him, like, tragic and in constant pain. Uh, another side effect of his powers is that he has, like, a heart condition. Of course. Oh, I mean, we have that many, We have that much muscle. I mean, come on. It takes a big heart to run all this muscle, and a lot also, of. Also, the heart is a muscle. Think about that. Oh fuck. <laughs> Welcome to. I thought. Or rather, it's controlled by muscles. Oh no. It's a whole thing. We don't. We don't have to get into it. We're not a science class. We're low night gaming. Honestly, I feel like we should start being a science class. I mean, all of this is really to say, like like Tim said earlier, go read X-Men comics. Yeah. yeah, go have fun. But finish our episode first, please. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. No, yeah, yeah, hang around to the stream, but then, like, yeah, maybe after the stream or tomorrow, go to your local comic shop. Uh, support small businesses. Yeah. Go support small businesses by buying something from a multi-billion dollar company. I mean, but, like, support a local comic shop, I mean. Yeah, no, I know. There's about two of them near me that I go to regularly. Well, okay, I go to one of them regularly. I, I don't think I want to go back to the other one. And no, it, Jack, it's not the one I usually already go to. It's the one I checked out after. Ah. Because the, the one I usually go to um, is Secret Stash, the Kevin Smith's comic book shop. And that's the one I always go to, because it's, it's just... It's it's a good shop. That's all it is. 
Um, but the other shops I've gone to are rough. Mm. Whether it just be poor selection, we barely started, and shitty staff. The teacher team. It, it, yeah, just it leaves like a bad it. taste in my mouth. I've got two that I've been to in my area. One that's like pretty standard like local shop and one that is uh like uh basically you're more like overall like retro games like and uh like fan memorabilia shop in addition to comics oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You thought I was too stupid for this puzzle, Zelda. Guess what? Fuck you. I'm not. Oh shit, the guy in. Fuck. Yep. Is this the part with the new thing? I wonder. Is this the part? No, they added like a new like cutscene to this that's like pretty cool and just like, I wonder if this is the part or not. This is the part where an alien does a spin. This is also the part where YouTube's probably like, Hey, you've shown too much anime. Here you go. A little notice for you. The letter C for copyright. <laughs> what is this? Yep. Oh, the glamour shot. Oh, and he's dead. But right, fine. What's you guys? Hey, are you all right? Someone, take him to the nurse's office. You'll pay soon enough. All right, let's resume the match. <laughs> Not laughing at all. Speaking of Marvel stuff that's coming out soon, uh, the Moon Girl and Devil Dino show. Uh, released a clip last week uh, oh. that features sweatpants by Childish Gambino. It's censored as hell, but it's still fucking awesome. It, it, it's a it's a choice to put that I think in. It works, I think it works weirdly well how they use it. No, I know. It's just why I'm like, like it's a very they very heavily censor that song. It, it, of, of the Gambino songs I listen to, it's probably the raunchiest one. So I'm like, interesting choice for your kid's show, but go off. She's having a fun time, so I don't care. Like, this is going to make noise when they start up, just so you know. Damn, your mic is crackly as shit. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Interesting, it's not coming through as crackly on my end. I also have to remember where I'm going, shit. I think it's classroom 2-4. Oh god, it's always this part that's really awkward, because it's like, I gotta find the people I'm supposed to talk to. Okay, it might be a me thing, because Kevin's is doing it too. Yep. Oh. Right, I am gonna pop off here, it's just as I need to get some sleep, because it's, it's very pretty much 1am, and I decided to do a fucking series that the first part takes like 4 hours. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna hop off. Good night, All right. guys. I mean, it's probably best to just like... Maybe I'll do like the interviews off camera, pause it, save it, and then uh, Let's do it. whatever. Because this part isn't actually, uh, I don't know. We'll, we'll cut the stream off here and see what I decide to do. I might like skip all the interview stuff because that's not as interesting as the rest of the game. But yeah, so here we fucking go again. Next time on Lone Night Gaming. Uh, Maybe something else, but maybe this. Who knows? Bye.